So now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to get people who've cured herpes. We actually happen to have four people on this call who have cured herpes. And, you know, this is one of our meetings that people come to to talk about making cure a global reality and helping the world. And so here are four people who've all cured herpes. And now I have you all looking at the camera. Everybody, I want you all to say hello to the Hi. people viewing. Hello. And first I want you to show them what your signal, and Franny, you're, you're, you can't do this obviously because your camera's not on, but three of you can just demonstrate what your signal looks like. Okay, mine is... Hold your finger up so, hold, hold it so people can see what your signal looks like. Okay, now test this question, can I cure things? Yes. Okay, so that's, th those are what the signal looks like. And uh, could somebody, like, let me ask Ron to explain exactly, like, how do you cure herpes? Um, I ask myself first if I start, whenever I'm going to cure anything, including herpes, I ask myself first if I can cure something. And then I look for my signal as a response. Right. And that is basically, I, that, that's my green light. We're saying, yes, I can. And then I start asking myself, is there any herpes anywhere in any of my bodies besides my physical body? There's, uh, including, including my physical body. And if I find it, then I, I remove it. Okay. And that's, that's, how, that's what I do. So let's say you get yes on your gravitational body. Are okay, so then, then I make a statement, I am now removing uh, all herpes from my gravitational body. And, and then I get this signal that says yes, which means I have done that. Okay, and if does anything else happen? Well, I'll, I'll, well yeah, sometimes I, I'll, feel, I'll feel calm or relaxed or I'll smile. Uh, that may or may not happen. So that's another signal. Yes. So see, actually, what people need to know is there are two kinds of signals. One is the finger, and the other one is like sometimes a sense of relief or calmness or happiness or clarity. Barb, do you have a few more words that you can add to the feeling? Mm. Change or Anna? Okay. Clear, safe. Protected. Um, okay. Anna, anything else there with for you? Um, peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Lighter. Lighter, Franny says. And these all indicate that you've killed the herpes virus. Mm-hmm. So, Anna, how long has it been for you since you had a herpes outbreak? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe five months. Okay. Four or five months. And were you getting them more frequently before then? Uh huh. Every couple of months. Right. So you know that something changed. Right. Okay. For Ron, about a year for you, right? That's, yeah. Better, better year. Okay, and Barb, more like what? Probably about a year or two, not between nine months and a year. And that was after recatching it and recuring it. Well, yeah, I haven't it's been gone for a long time, but yeah, it showed up on. It. Yeah, you you got a negative medical test in two thousand four. Six or four, yeah. Well, no, six. It was two thousand six. Two thousand six. Mm -hmm. After um, having cured it in nineteen ninety four. So right. that you were free of it for like 12 years. Uh-huh. Right. So, cause some, and, and of course, I'm the, I'm the fifth person who's cured herpes, uh, and I uh, haven't had an outbreak in 20 years. And Franny, how long for you? You're talking to me? Yeah. 
Well, I don't remember the last time, so I'm probably somewhere around 15 to 20 years. I don't know. So you you cured it like 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay. So so here's just a little movie that people can see to understand that people cure herpes. It ain't that difficult. It's not rocket science and it feels good. And the thing to remember is we actually we all find it in different places. We do it in different ways, but we all get the same signals. And that's important because without those signals you're probably not going to cure it. You got to have the, you got to get the signals. Okay. And the, the signals sig are, the, are the go ahead, the green light. The signals are the green light and they're those two signals which then leads to no actually there's four signals. The first one is the finger signal, then there's the good feeling, then there's a, a negative medical test and also there is you don't have any symptoms, no outbreaks. When you are, you know, like go past a month, two months, three months, and you were going to get an outbreak, usually you got an outbreak by then and you don't get one. And that's when you know that you've cured your herpes. Okay? So this is a global movement for cure of disease. And what we're, do what we're doing basically is we are enabling helpless people to help themselves. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> My friend got a signal of a tingle in her leg. Okay. That's her signal. So some people get different kinds of signals. Mm -hmm. And certainly at first they do. That's often, that's a common thing that at first people get a different kind of signal. And then it goes, you mean it later on it goes to the hand or for most people? Uh, you can control where your signals come. Oh. So, but I've heard people say their ears wiggled or their, the, the, the fluids inside their skull change, like all kinds of signals. And then later, you know, they, like you focus on your fingers and you ask questions and you start to get signals in your fingers. Yeah, good. You know what? I want to give you all a ch some time now to tweet this meeting and what you've done in this meeting. And I'll be the home page of curedrive.org, which is the Cure College on the web that we have put here for you to come learn how to cure medically incurable diseases. Now at the top of the page, the home page, which you should be on right here, and uh, I want to recommend, if you have not already, get to this page by opening a tab. Do not turn this movie off. Open a tab so that you can still hear me talking. And leave this tab open and then go to this website. Now the tally that you see, 132K, people ask where does that come from? And if you notice, right above it, and this is, by the way, on every page in the web college, it says Report Cure. If I click on that, it goes to a page where there's a little form to fill out where you can report your cures. Now I will press the incredible back button <laughs> and go back to the home page of curedrive.org. And also, if you want to contact us, there's a little link here that says contact and you'll notice that we put our phone numbers in here. Uh, we feel more comfortable being called on the phone. So uh, it's just easier to talk and this is a very big subject and uh, we, find it, we find that it uh, saves us time and work if people call us. 
Now this, we document our cures. This movie that you're watching here is an example of that. Um, this is a movie where people cure things on camera and you watch them. You watch them curing things. Uh, for example, um, the woman here and at this point in the movie is curing a flu and if you watch this movie you'll discover that she comes in with fully developed flu symptoms including headache and God knows what else and they um, the symptoms disappear in around 20 minutes that's how fast this is personally I have not had a flu even try to come on since 1993 when I cured my herpes. My 20th anniversary, by the way, just passed. <laughs> 20th anniversary of my herpes cure in April of 2013. Okay, if you look again above the cure drive, uh, the cure drive uh, uh, logo, I guess it is, and what you'll see is the cure show, there's a link to go to the cure show. And the cure shows are another way that we documented our cures. And uh, for example, you'll, you'll find letters at the top of the cure show and if you click the letter F, it takes you to fibromyalgia where you see a lot of, or two people curing fibromyalgia actually. And underneath it, there are many, many shows on flu. We had a flu hotline. And what you'll find with this is that people with similar conditions get parallel results. Like these people who cured their flu, or I don't think we ever had a person come in to cure the flu that, you know, was just getting it. You know, they all had had it for a couple of days. There they are and they, uh, you hear their flu cure in, during the call in around 20 minutes. Um, so there's, there are about a uh, hundred diseases represented on this page. Acid reflux, abuse, uh, there are, you know, you know, conditions can be considered diseases also. Oh, such as uh, tra traumatic stress syndrome from 9-11, the, you know, World Trade Center attack. Uh, a woman actually cured her traumatic stress syndrome from that. So um, now, if we're back on the home page again, and up here at the top, it says it says login hub, and or sign up. If you don't have a password, you can sign up, or you can log in, and you come to a the hub of the Cure College. This is the hub, not the home page. And people, new people who come here, many, many people just come in and get a password right away. They, you know, they instantly get a password and come in and they, they say, what is this? <laughs> it's gigantic. Over here, this is the basic skill. Skill one is cure physical diseases and it has 10 applications remove viruses cure cancer and trauma recode your DNA with certain diseases you must recode your DNA to cure the disease uh, this may be true for example of viral based diseases such as herpes simplex Epstein-Barr and so on and this, each one has two links underneath it. Now if I click on the where it says lessons under recode your DNA and these are the lessons. There's a huge page of lessons on recoding DNA. And uh, one of the lessons is remove adverse DNA mut mutations you catch from other people. Um, Bet you didn't know you were doing that, <laughs> but you do, and here's the lesson on that, and you know, then you scroll down and there's all these questions.
that's how the lessons work. You probably, if you, if this is the first movie you've ever watched, you are probably not ready for a password right now. But you should probably know this is here at the same time and some things about it. For example, here's a, an application of skill one, which is, what is skill one, do you recall? Cure physical diseases, right? And it's called the safety web. See it? Right here, the safety web. If I click on that, what I come to is a page of lessons about, and there's quite a few lessons on this page, about the safety web. Now basically, it's very simple. God isn't going to let you fail. You know, a woman asked me, um, I, I was telling her to kill, remove all bacteria from her physical body. And she said, well, if I remove all bacteria from my physical body, what, you know, will I remove my beneficial intestinal bacteria? And I said, no. You're not going to remove your beneficial intestinal bacteria. You're going to, uh, you know, God won't let you do that. You know, you're safe. However, there's more to the safety web than that. So, you, you'd want to know about the safety web. Also, there's, a, there's an application called knowingness is power. Most people ignore it. The reason it's here is because knowingness is curative. A lot of times things that you cure happen just because you know something. Now curing physical diseases is the lowest level of study in this web college. For example, um, here, which is in the mid-level, there's a skill called um, three spiritual diseases. Do you see it? That's only skill nine. There are 12 skills. So another one is about function. Reinstall your functions. Another one is about reclaiming your immune system so that you can be immune to these things and you won't have to cure cancer or herpes. You will not not get it. I, as I said before, have not had a flu in 20 years. I haven't had a flu even try to come on in the last 20 years. Okay. Um, if you're not ready for a password yet, <laughs> and by the way, when you're new, uh, you're probably better off with one of these options. These are the best options for new people, which are next to the movie. And that's when you know you want to start and you're ready, for, you're, you know, you're ready, you, you've like learned it and you understand how to do it. Uh, what you probably want to start getting a signal first. And if you notice under this movie, you should get, start getting a signal when you watch during this movie, which is now four and a half hours. And there's many, many illustrations of people getting signals. So hopefully you'll pick it up while you're doing that. But if not, there's an entire page of signals, including a movie that plays automatically at the top, which is uh, you know, a very good lesson with a lot of very serious people getting signals as the movie goes along, you know, illustrating how they get signals. And then there are all these other movies about signals as you go down the page. This little tripod is wandering, I'm trying to hold this with my hand while I show this to you. So now, that's an example of some of the other things that are on here. This is our Twitter feed, this black thing, so that you can uh, see what advanced people, because everybody who posts on this has been doing it for a while and, you know, are curing things. You know, a lot of these people have already cured their herpes or their other thing that they came to cure, um, their chronic fatigue syndrome and so on, and now they're, you know, this is just some things I cooked. <laughs> this, it's, not a, it's not about cooking, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, there's, you know, lots of people just talking about what they're, you know, the more advanced things that they're doing. And uh, these are all people who've cured many things in the past and probably never get the flu, as I don't. N none of us ever get the flu anymore. We don't get sick in that way. No, that's, that's pretty basic, not getting the flu. So, um, if you're not ready to, for a password, the thing to do is just keep watching movies. 
And let me show you something about that. There are lots of movies to watch. Here's one that says I cured it in 10 minutes and lots of people are interested in this. This is a popular movie. Um, this woman is very experienced at, with this. She's been doing it about 15 years. And uh, But see, if you go down on this movie to here where it says YouTube, and let's click on this. Let's go to the YouTube page, which is the same movie. See, you're you're on you're you're on the same you're on the same movie now. And uh, right underneath it, there's something that says, "Let me just show this to you." Cure Drive is the account that the movie is in, and you see it says it has 352 videos. So the thing to do is to click on that and go in to the Cure Drive account with the 352 movies. And then, once you're there, subscribe to the account so that you can get back to it easily. And uh, then there are other accounts too. This is not the only account. Some of them only have 25 movies. There's about 10 different accounts. But another one, there's another one that has 250 something movies on it. This is deceptively simple and easy. As you watch these people in these movies, the cure is always instantaneous. And it gives the impression that it's over and you don't have to continue you don't have to study and then you get sick again because you didn't get deep enough and get everything uh... with that being said um, i want to uh... show you these women curing something instantly and leave you with the thought that it's probably not going to be what you expected it to be That's that I think when you watch these women, that's what you see here. That it isn't, it's probably not going to be what you expected it to be. But it does cure, it probably will if you hang in there and stick with it. You probably will cure the thing you came to cure. Say, can I go to the 144th dimension? See if you get a signal on that. Can I go to the 144th dimension? Can I go to the 144th dimension? Yes? I guess I can. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. Uh, both of you go to the 144th dimension. I'm taking myself to the 144th dimension. Mm. Yeah. Me too. No stopping for gas on the 8th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, clear. Yeah, I feel uh, less interested in anything below the 144th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here all the time? I know, exactly. <laughs>